story to tell. In May 2019, the United States Air Force released a video of the B-2 Spirit heavy strategic stealth bomber dropping two 13-ton GBU-57 bombs during a drill. With a length of about 6 meters, a weight of up to 14 tons, this bomb is also known as the mother of all bombs, or MOAB, because of the terrible destructive power that it possesses. According to The Drive, more than 20 years after being put into operation and 30 years after the start of the test flight program, the B-2 Spirit is still a silver bullet of the United States. The aircraft's ability to carry nuclear weapons remains an important component of the United States nuclear triad. In addition, this aircraft is capable of conventional strikes and deep penetration strikes and possesses many other outstanding features, making it the tip of the U.S. military's aerial bomber spear. Northrop Grumman completed the installation phase and is preparing to test the upgraded B-2 Spirit, according to Defense News. The United States Air Force's heavy bombers will be deeply modernized in both their electronic and self-defense systems in order to meet the ability to operate in today's complex anti-access aerial denial defense environments. Northrop Grumman representative added, if the test processes go well, the flight and the upgraded B-2 will take place soon. Due to the unique nature of the U.S. Air Force's strategic bombers, the specific detail and upgrade package applied to the B-2 capabilities were not disclosed. However, with public information available through Northrop Grumman, the billion-dollar strategic bomber line will be re equipped with new electronic countervailing system, antenna, and central control system. Along with the new aviation equipment, the B-2 aircraft's information display system will also be changed accordingly. The new upgrade package will help pilots increase their ability to identify threats against the B-2 aircraft and provide appropriate countermeasures for the team. Currently, the new upgrade package is available only on a few B-2 aircraft. After testing is completed, all 20 of the U.S. Air Force B-2s will be fully upgraded. The B-2 Spirit Heavy Bomber was first introduced in the 1980s. When it appeared, this stealth bomber line was a technological masterpiece of U.S. military aviation, with the ability to penetrate enemy air defenses to strike strategic level targets. Initially, the B-2 was designed to infiltrate Soviet air defense networks and attack targets with nuclear weapons. After decades, however, the mission of the B-2 aircraft now includes precision strike with conventional weapons. The B-2 Spirit is known as one of the most famous aircraft in the world, and it's also one of the most destructive aircraft in the world. Speaking of the B-2 Spirit, people will remember its unique design, a flying wing design, meaning that it has no fuselage or tail. From above, the appearance of the B-2 is no different from the double W shape. This tail's design helps to maximize aerodynamic, lift force, and stealth capabilities for the aircraft. But American stealth bombers had to sacrifice a few important features, especially maneuverability. Basically, this design turns the wings and the fuselage into a unified unit, helping it minimize reflection of radar waves. The wings of the B-2 are inflated at the junction, forming an area similar in the traditional aircraft to a fuselage. But in theory, the B-2 has absolutely no body. Also, in the B-2 maintenance documents, there were no fuselage, only the control compartment, the bomb compartment, and the two wings. Without a tail, the B-2 could not balance horizontally with the fuselage. To overcome this weakness, the design engineers put the body of the B-2 in a balanced pendulum, 
Due to its complex flight characteristics and a low profile design resulting in very limited visibility, the B-2 had to use a computer to help. The aircraft requires a two-person crew, a pilot in the left and a mission commander on the right, and a third crew could be needed. Thanks to the aircraft's high automation, one pilot can rest on long journeys while the other oversees the aircraft. As mentioned, the B-2's stealth comes from a combination of reduced acoustic, infrared, visual, and radar signatures to evade various detection systems. This allowed the reduction of the U.S. Air Force's escort aircraft. Optical stealth, which some refer to as day stealth, is enhanced by dark anti-reflective paint. Imagine a black object at an altitude of 15,000 meters blended into the sky. It's hard to detect it with conventional optical devices. Equipped with four General Electric F-118-100 jet engines, the B-2 Spirit is able to fly at a maximum speed of Mach 0.95. Surprisingly, the B-2's engine was non-afterburning type, meaning that the engine was no different from that of commercial jets. The cruising speed of the B-2 is 900 kilometers an hour with a service ceiling of 15,200 meters. The Spirit has a range of more than 11,000 kilometers with internal fuel. If refueled in the air, it could fly around the world. B-2 Spirit once set a record of 34 continuous flying hours. The aircraft took off from Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri to attack targets in Libya and then returned to the United States. Pilots have traveled nearly 19,000 kilometers with multiple aerial refueling. B-2 Spirit has two internal bays for ordnance and payload that can carry 80 MK-82 GBU-38 JDAM bombs weighing 225 kilograms each, or 16 MK-84 GBU-31 bombs weighing 925 kilograms each, or up to 16 tactical nuclear bombs B-61 or B-83 varieties. The total weight of weapons is about 18 tons. The United States Air Force currently operates 20 B-2 Spirit stealth aircraft. Each of them is named after a U.S. state. B-2 bombers have regularly been deployed to Guam Island's base to deter North Korea. It is also a strategic weapon to deal with Russia and China. 20 years from its first overseas deployment, the B-2 Spirit is still the only stealth strategic bomber in the world to have entered production and service. The B-2, together with the B-1B Lancer and the B-52 Stratofortress, make up the U.S. Air Force's formidable nuclear deterrent triad. In the future, the B-2 Spirit will be replaced by the B-21 Raider with more advanced features to help the United States continue to dominate in the field of stealth strategic bombers. However, the B-2 is still considered to be the pinnacle of aircraft manufacturing technology and is the first flying wing designed aircraft to be served in large numbers in the United States Air Force. The cost of each B-2 Spirit stealth bomber was about 737 million U.S. dollars in 1997 equivalent to $2.1 billion using today's dollars. My video of B2 Spirit ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.